Hi there, welcome back to Stubbs Aquatics. My name is Sandra, back by popular demand, apparently. I'm here to talk about one of the most underrated, in fact, relatively unknown species of barbs by most Aquarists. And of course, one of Stubbs' favorites. The Doxinia Tamburpini Aurelius Barb, scientific name, Puntius Aurelius. I swear Stubbs comes up with these names just to get me going sometimes. And I haven't gotten over him taking my magic bullet and using it for his fish food. I did promise you I'd get something bigger and better. And this is what I got. Bigger is better. Thanks, Stubb. Origins. The Aurelius barb is a large, fast-moving barb. It originates from India, where it is found in the Tambaparni River Basin, hence the Tambaparni in the name. This rather cool water barb likes a wide range of temperatures from the mid 60s to low 80s. This barb doesn't require a heater. It's a very hardy fish that will tolerate many water conditions, including pH. This is not a well-known species in the aquarium hobby, but it should be. The color on this fish is outstanding. It's an active, friendly fish that will quickly win you over. Stubbs says there are many reasons this beautiful fish should be kept. He looked for over two years to find these ones. The Aurelius barb is a very hardy species that will adapt to most aquarium conditions. This barb does prefer a well-planted aquarium as well as open areas for this fast-moving fish to swim around in. You will see that most of Stubbs' barbs tanks have hang-on back filtration at one side of the aquarium to push the water length of the tanks to mimic a river or a stream. These barbs love some current and open areas as they love to dart around. A few shaded regions among these roots are also appreciated. These fish also like oxygen-rich waters. That's why the extra air diffuser is in the tank. This fish can be bred in captivity, thus not putting any strain on the wild stock. Stubb has not attempted to breed these guys yet, but who knows in time. This fish is a great choice for larger community tanks as long as it doesn't contain very small fish that they might see as potential food. They are not known to be fin nippers, but we would not recommend very slow moving long fin fish to be tank mates. As you can see, they are aggressive eaters. They will beg for food and will eagerly accept food from your hands. You do have to control how much they eat though. Aurelius barb is a shoaling, schooling species and it should always be kept in schools of eight or more fish. Is there a difference between a school and a shoal of fish? There is. When different types of fish swim together in a loose cluster, this is typically called a shoal. It can be a mix of different species. A school is a group of the same fish species swimming together in unison. If these fish are kept in smaller groups, they will not feel secure and will not show their best colors and will definitely affect their health. Like most barbs, the bigger the group, the better. The Aurelius barbs are omnivores feeding on both meaty foods and plants. Their diet should consist of quality flake food, pellet food, frozen food such as brine shrimp or mosquito larvae, algae, fresh veggies such as zucchini and cucumber. The better the food, the better the color they will show. Sexing Aurelius barb. Adult males in spawning condition show white spots around the mouth. This can look like a disease, but if the spots are focused around the mouth only, it is probably just the spawning dress of these species. Aurelius barb is harder to sex when dealing with younger fish and fish that aren't ready to spawn yet. Stubbs fish are still juveniles and we can't determine the sex yet. The adult males get very colorful when spawning and their dorsal fin really stands out. The males get long filaments on their dorsal. These beautiful thread-like dorsal spines grow larger with age. Males are more colorful than females. Just like the rest of the animal species, the males have to try to get the attention of us females. 
These guys are definitely no exception. The males display their large filament dorsal fin just like a peacock would its tail. Size. The Aurelius barb is a mid to larger barb. It can get up to five inches, but probably will get up to about three to four inches. Age. Five to seven years. The odd fish can live longer, but this is very rare and under optimum conditions. Tank mates and aquarium size. Being that this is a larger barb and should be in a school shoal of eight or more, we would suggest a tank size of 40 gallon and bigger. Ours are in a 100 gallon tank. Good tank mates. Other barbs in the same pH and temperature range, such as cherry barbs, Odessa barbs, rosy barbs, checker barbs, danios, larger tetras, white clouds, quarries, and even shabumpkin goldfish. Breeding is said to be relatively easy. Parents need lots of live food prior to breeding and the temperature needs to be risen. Apparently you can breed them in pairs or in groups. Like other barbs, they are egg scatters and do not protect their eggs. In fact, they will eat them. To protect the eggs, you need to have marbles, rocks or mesh to stop the parents from dining on their eggs. Once the fish have bred, remove them. The fry are very small and will require in Sephoria for a week before switching over to baby brine shrimp and powdered food. Like from a magic bullet. Seriously, Stub? So I told you guys that because Stub used my magic bullet, I would get a bigger and better one. Check this baby out. I hope you enjoyed this little bit of information on this beautiful underrated barb. Thanks for watching and I hope to hear from you soon. Remember, if you like the video, hit that like button and set that notification bell so you won't miss any upcoming videos. Take care everyone.